In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a person's age when the only piece of data we got is a person's birth date. This kind of calculation is quite common in databases and spreadsheets because with such a calculation, you always have the correct age. Whereas if you manually input a person's age, that number would not be correct in a year, let alone in two or three years. So what we need is a method or a, or, a, or a function which gives me the correct age whenever I need it. And the way we do it, let's first, let, let's first do it manually, like how do we calculate that person's age? What I do, I'll take the today's date, is, is, today's year is like 2012, and I subtract 1980 from that, so I get 32. And let me write down. So the way we, we calculate this person's age is year of today or today's year minus birth year. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna reformulate it a bit. Year of today minus year of birth date and that's how we that's how we're gonna do it in Excel let's start with a simple function and that function gives me today's date obviously I could I could write something like that that would be today's date however the problem with that is that tomorrow we have the 26th and that thing is no more uh, a current so I need some sort of function which gives me, which always gives me the current date. And we in Excel we got a function called today. And you, what you do is like equal today. And every time you have a function in Excel, you always need parentheses, open and close. Now sometimes you need to write something in within the parentheses. But in the case of today, it doesn't take any so-called parameters or arguments. So, but it does need the parentheses. And there you go. I got today's date. Tomorrow it'll be automatically on the 26th. Next year, it'll be automatically on the 25th, 1st, uh, and 2013. So basically, if I want to implement this formula in Excel, the way it goes is, I'll just put it in here. Again, equals year of today. So I call the function year, open parenthesis. Now here, I need today, and there's my today. All right, let me see. There you go, I just got 2012 without without the 25 and the 01. So let me go on, minus year, and I need the year of the birth date, and close parentheses. And there we have the 32. So that's how you can read it, year off, and then open parentheses, and then the first, that, that parameter, the first argument is today's date, Whereas the second parameter with the, with the second year is the birth date of that person. And that's how we got 32. All right, that was easy. Now let's, get, let's, get, let's take it one step further. This guy is born on the 12th of January, 1980. So 32 is right because that guy's birthday is passed and he got one year older and he's now 32. What if that guy was born on 12th of August? 1980. It says 32 here, but that's not right because that guy is still 31. So what we need, we need some way for Excel to check out if this guy did this guy have a birthday this year. If so, then make him a year older. If not, then he's like uh, still 31. If I'm gonna write it here, I'm gonna say if this guy's birthday was before today then that guy's 32 and if not or well, otherwise otherwise this guy's still 31 so in order to implement this uh, 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 let's say algorithm we need first of all this guy's birthday this is his birth date but 
I need his birthday. When does this guy have... When is this guy's birthday this year? And that's the way you do it is... Equal. I need the day of his birth date. And I get 12. So basically, let me, let me let me do it separately. If I need his the, the birth month, I'll just say month. Take his birthday. There you go. 12 8. And I need not his birth year, but today's year. And we know how to do that. Year of today. Now I could click here. Let me do it. Let me do it one step further. I could click here, but I could also say like this year off and then I don't I don't need this this cell here so what I do is like say today open parentheses close parentheses and close the parentheses of year there you go so basically today's birth uh, this guy's birthday should be 12 8 2012 now now I put it here in three cells how how could we do it on one cell so it's nice and compact well let's start day of birth date and close parentheses now the way you can attach text with each other is with this and symbol, ampersand. And then month again of birthday and close parentheses. So there you go, I got 12 8. Now furthermore, I would like to have a point between the 12 and the 8. So this to distinguish that that's 12 and that's August. So the way we do, let me let me let me take that off. It's much easier. So that's the day. I want to attach a point. Ampersand. Open quotes. Points. Point. One point. Sorry. Close quotes. And that's 12 dot. Now I need the 8. Again. Ampersand. Every time you connect one text, one piece of uh, uh, text or one piece of info data with another, you always use the ampersand. And you see cells or functions, they don't need uh, any quotation marks. But just normal text, like a dot here, it needs a couple of quotation marks. Okay, so now we need the month. Okay, month of birth date. So I got 12 8. All right, and I got one. Ampersand, another dot. And then I need the year. Another ampersand, and then year of today. Okay, there you go. That's 12 8 2012. That's when this guy's got birthday. So that's exactly what we did. We did here what we did here, but in a more compact way. Let me take that off. Now, another thing what I need to do is this is, as far as Excel or OpenOffice is concerned, this is text. I've got to convert this text into a date. And we got a function which is called date value. What date value does, I mean, let me put it this, this way. As far as Excel is concerned, this is not a date, but a, a series of digits. 1, 2, dot, 8, dot, 20, 1, 2. Doesn't mean a thing to Excel. We've got to convert that to a date. And the way you do that, you encompass the whole thing. What we've done here, you encompass that within a new function called date value. Date value. And I open parentheses for date value. And the end, close parentheses. So what I did, I converted the whole work we did previously. Into a, or a, into a date okay and you see now that's a number that happens sometimes with Excel because Excel sees dates as numbers I will in another video I'll explain how that how that works but right now if you see something like that in Excel it's not an error all you gotta do is change the format I'm gonna do it fast I'm gonna take the format of this guy click in this guy take that paintbrush and click on this guy so basically what I did, I, I took the format of this guy and, 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 uh, and uh, used it here. So there's this guy's birth date. A uh, birthday, 12, 8, 12. So let's go on here. If birthday before today. So basically, if, open. If this is before, meaning smaller than today, then semicolon that part in uh, the if function has three different components this is the first component i.e. Where, where, where you put your condition now 
comes the then value. I mean, basically, what, what should happen? If this guy's birthday is before today, then we could use this calculation we've done here. Basically, click on that cell. Otherwise, his birthday is not yet passed. So basically, this guy is 32 minus 1. Okay, and there we go. I'm just going to make it bold. This guy is still 31. And you see, if I put him on 12, 1, automatically 32. And this is how you calculate age. Now, I'm going to show you in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do that all in one step. Because here we did it over various steps. And I'm, I'm going to show you in the next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate this.